Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see more detail about Web HDFS and how can we access the various functions of the Web HDFS. So first thing we have to make sure go to the HDFS section under the services, go to the config and check inside the setting tab. Uh, there should be web hdfs enable so that is very important property we have to go to the general tab for that let me see In the advanced section, it should be a general tab. Name node is there. Data node is there. Let's see, we have general or not. Yeah, we have the general. And there is one property called as a web HDFS enable. So we have to make sure this property is enabled. Otherwise, the other commands from the command prompt will not work once we confirm that we can come here to the command prompt we have already logged in as a by doing the node 1 ssh the web api the web hdfs api can be accessed using the curl command so the command suppose if you want to list what are the functions available or what is the status available for the web hdfs then we can give the command like this curl minus i then provide the url for the web HDF, hdfs node 1 the port for this is make sure you are providing appropriate port that is 50070 web hdfs then v1 v1 is version it is important user and we are going to see the details inside root user root after using the root use a question mark operations list status so it will list out the status and use the enter button if that web hdfs is enabled in the ambari then you will able to see the HTTP status is 200 that is ok and some JSON output like the status with uh, other details. So uh, this is the one of the command which can be used to check the status at the user's root level. Now if you want to try some more command like if you want to create a directory using this um, web HDFS how can I create a directory again the same command that is curl after curl you have to use minus i capital X then the put is used to create a directory put of course we have to use the same URL for the web HDFS note as you might have aware now the port is 50070 web hdfs the next is v1 that is important user root so we reach at the root level now here we'll create one folder so let's give the name to the folder as a history so i give the na name to the folder as a history operation is make directory who is going to create this directory who will be the owner then i'll give the owner name here user dot name equal to root just make a enter so it is saying um, could not resolve host x ok let's try we are sure curl minus i x put make directory op mkdr yeah okay so there is one change little bit mm, let's see 
let's see this make d i r s let's try out that command curl could not resolve okay let me remove that x and let's try out it is saying invalid value for mk d i r s and the at actually this is the correct it is showing it's a, a wrong message mk d i r s no enum constants of what you do okay invalid value for e b Oh, there should be some type of error. Let me revisit web curl minus i x put http forward slash node one five zero zero seven zero web hdfs that is correct p one user root. Then we can give any name to directory that is history. Then O P M K D I R S and user dot name equal to root. Looks correct. Let me remove that X and try out again. Bad request. Okay. So yeah. So but this is the way normally we create the request. Right now it is not working in this context. But the command is same. The curl minus i x. Okay, so actually it is minus x. It's not x. Let's try out that. Perfect. Now this time the direct is created. Now we can see the command is curl minus i and minus x put, and this location. So by this way it will create a history folder inside this location. If you want to list or if you want to see whether the history uh, directory is created or not, you can use hdfs dfs minus ls. Now I can see the history directory is created. Now, if you want to read the content, now we saw the how to see the status of the root directory. We saw the how to create the folder. Now, suppose if you want to read the data using the web HDFS, how can you read? We can use the curl command minus i minus capital L. Use the HTTP URL for that web HDFS node one. Port is five double zero seven zero web hdfs p one user root. Then you have to use pass wd and operation is open. Let's try out this. Yes, you can able to read. So these are the data you will be able to see. What are the uh, terminal uh, what are the users currently we are able to or what are the services available to see so by this way we are able to get the status we are able to make the directory and we are able to see the content using the web hdfs i hope this will help you to understand how to access the web hdfs you can subscribe my channel for the more interesting update about the Hadoop. Thank you for watching the video and have a nice time.